And we are at the store. Ah, okay. I begin I begin to see um, what the cliffhanger here is. What do I do with my 93 scraps at the store? We will have a look at the store uh, momentarily. But I want to see in what uh, 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 system I am in. in what's in what sector? Sector 3 at the start. It's an abandoned sector. Okay. And uh, we have long range scanners installed. Okay, I think that is from right from the start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Long range scanners. Nice. Yes, sir. <sighs> Sorry, guys. There's a distress signal ahead of us. Nice. And the exit beacon is well connected and way to the left, uh, to the right. Sorry. Mm hmm. So, does this store have weapons? Yes. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Burst laser 3. Takes 4 power, shoots 5 lasers. Actually, it's, it's, it's uh, a good thing. It's a good thing to go tall. Uh, to talk in... Uh, uh, to talk in Civ 5 talk uh, speak here. To go tall in a ship that has only 3 weapon slots. Meaning... Uh, Installing weapons that take a lot of power. Uh, yeah. Because you have uh, only three slots, you will have problems to get to uh, your full amount of available uh, energy if you are not using expensive or high uh, weapons that are high in power demand. So, as I said, to go tall is usually not that bad with only three slots but the burst laser 2 doesn't only have a four power requirement it also takes 19 seconds to recharge slow i might say slow panda vision what <laughs> Faster than Hearth was good though. <laughs> Alphador, <laughs> nice. How did you fix this at Alphador 7? Well, I changed to Windows mode in FTL. This is a window. Yeah. And then try to edit again in uh, OBS as a window capture. And all of a sudden it appeared under the list of windows that I can capture. I cannot say why i think i tried this at the start of the stream as well and it didn't appear magic <laughs> alpha 7 says i go fk uh, afk and ftl chrissy x says i remember you had to take the abandoned sector or having a really shitty sector 7 yes chrissy x indeed i think there is only one option for me to um to have a green sector 7 Halberd, you guys want the halberd beam, okay. Problem is, what do I do with the shields? I have a mini beam, so two beams on board is not that good. First letter, three sides, <laughs> says Chris. AK, AK says, oh, we are playing FTL now. Well, not for long, not for long. So game capture is the only thing toasted by the AMD R9 bug. Okay, gotcha, Chris the X. Uh, Ovinal says somewhere, someone somewhere sacrificed some virgins for this to work. Oh no, not the juicy virgins. Whatever works, says AK. Juan says also you would have. Also you would have. You, your weapons basically no offense. Next jump, you would have to sell one weapon just to buy the beam, and not enough weapons power. Do we need any fuel, says Hovina? Yes, we need a fuel. Yes, we do. Uh, so yeah, the thing is, mm, um, yeah, the thing is, the burst laser two requires four power, and we are at two at the moment. So yeah. What does that actually cost me? 60.
selling the mini beam gives me only 10. And selling the Hermes, Hermes gives me only 22. So if I sell the Hermes, right, and buy the burst laser too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I will have 20 left. 20 scraps. And I need to put it into uh, fuel. I need to put it into fuel. So I actually cannot bring that burst laser to online. That is what uh, Juan is saying. Um, then we will only have the dual lasers and the mini beam. Since we are in sector 3, we are seeing uh, level 2 enemies. Will be a problem. Will be a problem. What else we got? We got the hull laser too. We could buy that as well. Uh, it's cheaper. It only shoots 3 shots. It recharges faster. I take three power. <sighs> Sorry. So uh, yeah, let let me think for a sec. Um, if we were to sell the Hermes, Hermes, we are at uh, 115, and then minus 75. Um, 40 left, and we have to put 20 into fuel. Then we still have 20. Um, that would not be enough to go deeper into weapons. Well, maybe if I buy not that much fuel, then we might actually be, af uh, might be able to afford us the third level of weapons. And then we can always steal energy from oxygen or evasion to power that. But then we would have uh, a time where period where we only have uh, the hull later available. Also not that great. Uh, Christy X says, Jordi, I wouldn't go Hull 2 or Burst Laser 3. Burst Laser 3 has a freaking high cooldown. I'd say Fuel and Halberd pierces one level of shields. Yeah, the Burst Laser 3 charge is 19 seconds. So you would sell the mini beam, is that what you're saying? Sell the mini beam, buy the halberd beam? Would you also sell the Hermes then? I don't know, that would leave us only with the dual lasers and the halberd beam. Every 17 seconds. That is a very shitty, that's a very shitty, um, volley. At least with the hull laser, I, I, I could uh, improve on that. Um, when I get one more energy into the weapons, then I have dual lasers and hull lasers. That's five lasers per volley every 15 seconds. And later on, we will get the mini beam on, which, uh, you know, piles on. That is a layout that might work. Up and bit up until level uh, sector five or something, or six even. The hover beam. Yeah, it punches. It punches through one level of shield. That is correct. Does um, the dual lasers have any chance? It has a fire chance. Okay. That's a hard decision. I can see why I stopped there last time. Uh, Juan says, I think if you sell the hull missile and mini beam, you have exactly enough scrap if you don't buy any fuel. Maybe just buy nothing. Well, 
Fuel is a given. I have to buy fuel. Otherwise, I will strand uh, pretty soon. And I'm close, close to the rebel fleet. That's not a position where you want to, you know, run out of fuel. No. So I think I want to buy the hull laser. Well, just check the Hearthstone game section. Jolly is still there, says Jugu Jugu. What? I was actually visible under under Hearthstone streams? Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Oh! Yeah, oh! Uh, Jugu Jugu, thank you for saying. Uh, uh, let's change one last time the title. And the game, yeah, that's why I'm there. For, uh, false advertising, I'll say. There you go. Change is saved. Jugu Jugu. Alrighty, so guys, I think I want to do something here. I want to give you uh, at least one battle or two. So I'll buy the Hull Laser. I'm selling the Hermes. That's what I want. Fuel and weapons. So there you go. So if that doesn't work, I can still change to Hull Laser. So this will be a, a somewhat, uh, yeah, difficult sector here because both dual lasers have to hit, and then the mini beam can do damage. Or if that doesn't work out, I can switch to Hull Laser completely with three lasers, which is still not that great versus two um, two layers of shields. So we will see how that works out. So let's have a look. We have Chiroku on board. We have Navistis as an engineer. We have Heimdall on the weapons, of course, and Lilo the rock woman, the pebble woman at shields. Okay. Wait, this should be enough to buy. Why do I have three more? What? Okay. So do we want to go to the distress or do we want to go down to the bell? To the distress! We could use a few easy battles now, says Juan Valdez. That's true. Does this have a storyline? Ask Hulk. Yeah, you are actually uh, you are part of the Federation, which is losing the war against the evil rebels, and uh, you um, at the start come across a secret that can actually turn the tides of the of the whole war, and you have to bring that secret back to um, Federation HQ. Unfortunately, you are way behind enemy lines, and you have to. Uh, you fight your way through eight sectors until you reach um, Federation HQ and you're always on the run, always on the run from the rebels. And on the way, to, on the way you have to um, manage your resources, you have fuel, you have missiles, you have drone parts. And uh, yeah, you have to make it, you have to make it to the Federation HQ. That is basically, basically the story. And uh, you come uh, on your way, you pass through um, the home worlds of different races like uh, um, the NGs, the Slugs, um, uh, the Rocks, uh, the Zoltans, and so on and so on. So, uh, yeah, you have lots of uh, action and stuff going on while uh, on your way to uh, Federation HQ. The Hull Laser got serious firepower. Yes, it ha it does. It does. It's not flickering this time, that place. <laughs> not gotten used to this yet. Interesting, says Hulk. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a very good game. Also, I, I can wholeheartedly recommend it to you. Um, once, once you get a taste of it, it, it doesn't let you go anymore. Hundreds and hundreds of hours are await you. Um, 
and will will be gone will just will just be gone from your life when you start playing this so a merchant ship is docked with a lanius transport you message them to see if they need any help turns out they have been studying the lanius's ability to reshape metal i don't know this event guys so um inquire about the process oh no i don't have any scraps no they respond we haven't the foggiest idea how it works they appear to melt part of their bodies into the metal and reshape it. They have been willing to demonstrate the ability if you have some extra metal that you would like converted into something. So for 45 uh, scraps I would get to craft an augmentation. For 50 scraps I would craft a weapon! For 40 scraps I would craft a drone schematics and if I'm poor like I am, I have to decline the offer. You thank them for the information and prepare to jump. No! Okay, on to the distress then. On to the distress signal! You arrive at the location of the distress signal prepared for a fight. But on first glance it's, entire, it's entirely empty. Your signal is coming from a small plastic satellite orbiting a moon. A looping message describes how settlers have recently abandoned the area due to the Lanius threat. You fail to find any other signs of a settlement nearby. What? Is that my distress signal? God damn it. Guys, I'm low on fuel. Give me something, game. Game, please. Give me something. Uh, that was two empty jumps in a row now. So the pirate ship patrolling this sector has been busy. The debris of several rebel scouts and at least one civilian ship litter the area. Welcome, welcome. There's room for one more. Overconfident pirate hails you as he charges his weapon and moves into attack. Oh, okay. So we have our battle here. One ah, ha, ha, one level of shield the enemy has only. So we should be fine with our. Okay, you are doing this. That's fine. That's fine. I can do this as well. Don't you worry. So the missile is incoming. Also, the laser is incoming. I will give power to my cloaking. And dodge under this. 90% dodge and both... All, all three projectile missed. That's excellent. I'm coming out of my cloak. My dual lasers are ready. And I'm shooting. No, wait. First the dual lasers. There you go. Okay, and now... Hmm, can I get to four? No. Three it is then. Yeah, they had level 2 cloaking, oh man. Okay, there is another missile incoming, can I do anything about that? Nope. We will just have to eat it. Into piloting, of course. Heimdall, you will help with this. This is very, very necessary. What? You can, you can cloak again? That is pretty quick, guys. The next missile is incoming, piloting is up again. We will once again dodge under it. Yeah. And then we will uh, use our volley. Yay, it missed. So, um. Oh man. They resisted the damage. So why don't we put some oxygen back into our ship? We don't want you to suffocate, guys. So the dual lasers are ready again. Of course that doesn't work. How about... This, this might work actually. No. This works. Yeah. Their cloaking is down now. Pilot, their piloting is back up. And the missile system is back up. We will see to that though. And it's down again. 
And that should be it. Oh, incoming offer. Two fuel, four missiles and 13 scraps. So the missiles aren't good anymore. 13 scraps in sector six, uh, in sector three isn't that good. You can get more in sector one if you're lucky, so no. Sorry, dude. Although the fuel is pretty good. I don't think we get fuel from defeating them. See? No fuel. But 17 scraps is more than 13, one drone part and a missile. Okay. Waiting for the oxygen to get back to 100. Also, Chiroko needs a heal. There you go. So what I'm actually saving my scraps for now is um, a next level in uh, in weapons. Cost me 35. And with that combination, I can actually use hull laser and mini beam or a hull laser and dual lasers. We'll see. And that with that, we should actually be fine. Ah, <laughs> Juan says, what did you expect when they called the sector abandoned? <laughs> because referring to the empty jumps, I gotcha, Juan Valdez. Uh, Tear of the Stars says, FTL is awesome. After watching Jody playing it, I'm into it now. Haven't played it in years. Even pixel arted some tiny mantis ship. Really sadistic enjoyment. Yeah, FTL is, is great. It's great. I feel your brother. So what's oh what's this? Oh, electromagnetic forces. Oh, thank God for the long range scanners. Uh, I do not want to jump into a pulsar. No way. I want to do this. So I'm down to three fuel again. Oh my goodness. So as you arrive in the system, you pro your proximity alarm begins screaming. There is a Lanius ship right on top of you. Before you have a chance to hail, they open fire. And they have two levels of shields now. Hmm. Oh, they have a flag one. This... Ah, this fight will be a little harder. How do I want to address this? We will wait for the flag, obviously, to shoot. But why is it not powering up? What the hell is going on? Oh, damn it, we missed. Do we wait uh, b uh, um, um, with our Wally? I think we do. In, in comes the things. Let's dodge under it. Yeah, and now we shoot. So let's see. Can we do it like this? Oh, four. Nice. Yeah, like this. Yeah, in comes an uh, offer. See an image of the captain silhouetted by the destruction aboard their ship. It bows forward with the metallic appendages about its body doing the same. It appears to be requesting mercy. Sorry dudes, that's not good enough. There, there's not even fuel in it. Sorry. Can't do it. Good thing is the flag is out so that's why I could actually allow myself to um to not accept that offer well, let's place it again like this nice nice down to one level of shields nice okay they repaired that again pretty quick but their weapon is still out that's cool actually we can give us some oxygen here so let's not miss Nice and kill him. Bam! No mercy with Laniuses. Oh, 30 scraps and the fuel. That's way better than that offer. Uh, yeah. I like. I'm pleased. 
<laughs> Heim that play says Jordi agreed. Pulsating things can be scary. Benrad said earlier, Heimdall, you're mostly like uh, Jordi's ace up his sleeve. So many victories with you on board can't be a coincidence. Uh, did you actually, Benrad, did you actually count how many victories I got with uh, Heimdall? There, there was a uh, it wasn't many, right? I remember that. So actually, I want to go into weapons immediately. No saving up of scraps or anything. And... Um, Energy will be bought later on. All empty jumps here, can you believe it? Okay, let's check this area then. 